April 21. Mission Commander John Young stepped onto the Descartes Formation, 11.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Off the ground, on the floor. There we go. With Duke acting as photographer and Young as driver, they put the rover through a full test. Man, you are really bouncing. Is he on the ground at all? Yeah, that's 10 kilometers. Huh? He's got about two wheels on the ground. Okay, turn sharp. <laughs> I have no desire to turn sharp. <laughs> okay, here's a sharpie. Hey, that's great. He's a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. And as he turns, he skids. The back end breaks loose just like on snow. Come on back, John. Hey, the deck is running. Then I'll tell you, Indy's never seen a driver like this. Okay, when he hits the craters and starts bouncing, it's when he gets his rooster tail. He makes sharp turns. Hey, Charlie. Yeah! Woo! Man, that's a great. Big skid. We're doing uh, 10 clicks, Tony. Covered me with dust on that one. As Young and Duke rode the bucking rover to the lunar formation called Stone Mountain, NASA geologist Farouk El Baz wrote on a blackboard on Earth, there is nothing so far removed from us to be beyond our reach or so hidden that we cannot discover it.